OK, good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, madam. Bhargavi, madam. Yes, sir. Very good morning, sir. Good. OK, uh, in the uh, previous week, uh, we started doing the second lab program, simple calculator lab program. So we have finished already uh, the UI part. So designing the UI part is done. And uh, we have written this is the UI that we designed. OK, and then uh, so we have written few uh, Java code also. So we, we have declared here. Uh, just to highlight uh, two number uh, edit text objects, one with the name number one and another with the name number two. And then uh, one more uh, object text view object with the name RES. And then uh, we made these objects to point or reference the corresponding UI elements which are there on the layout. So we have made the object number one uh, to a point to num one which is an edit text on the UI and we made num2 which is another object uh, to point to another edit test object on the UI and this res is another object which is of type text view and we have made it to point to the uh, result uh, uh, element on the UI which is there on the UI and then uh, we wrote uh, functions for one so when I click on one OK, now here. So this is one when I click on this one. OK, this is what the function that is called because in our XML. Excuse our me, XML, sir. Yes, sir. USN 38 was in A2 batch till yesterday. Uh, today he is yes. in A3 batch like a batch has been changed. Can you add okay. him? USN 38. 38 one request I had received I have added none. Hello. Yes, sir. Actually, I texted you 053 and I have added today. I have I joined. So there is one more, huh? Yes, yeah, sir. It's the US in 38. Yes, and please. One BI. One BI one eight Z C S zero three eight. So it is IBI, not uh, one BI. Added. So tell him to join. OK, so. Uh, for the button, uh, which is named as one. I'll show you here. This is one. OK, so on click we are calling this method one OK, and the method is written here. So if and again we are checking if the edit text uh, to which this object number one is pointing, if it has the focus, you append one uh, to that particular edit text to which number one is pointing. Otherwise, uh, add uh, see if number two. So if the edit text uh, element to which number two is pointing as the focus. So then append one to the text box. OK, here. If this is on focus in focus, whatever we write here, it goes to this. If this is on focus and whatever we click here, uh, the number gets appended to 
uh, this edit text. So now we'll add one more thing here. OK. So else part also if else if and we will add else. Else. In the else part, see if, if uh, the focus is not on uh, any of the edit text. So the focus is not on the first edit text where we enter the first number and even the second edit text is also not focused. So then we will display a simple toast message. So there is something called as toast message. I'll show you. So just write toast. So there are two ways of creating the toast. So either you can uh, go with this or go with this. I prefer you to go with the second one. OK, here toast create new toast. So now here I just write the message. the focus of first or second number edit Please get the focus of first or second number field. So that is what it says. And uh, the toast length that is short. So I'm just erasing this. So OP people are doing along with me. Have you opened uh, the application which was uh, uh, did uh, in the previous week? Yes, sir. OK, now here I just make length is long. OK, there are two things length short and length long. So I'll take it long. Okay, now. So uh, let me save this. And. Let us run. I'll show you this toast because uh, this toast was not shown to you people and this is the first time. So I'm running it. And after this we'll continue. If the cursor is not on uh, the first edit text also, if it is not on the second edit text also, then it displays this message. Please get the focus of first or second number field. And then uh, you can click and then you can do it.
So now uh, we have uh, finished uh, writing for one. OK, uh, the method for the method or the action that should happen when you click on the button one. And similarly, we have written it for the button two also the action that should happen when you click on the button two. And similarly, we'll also add uh, the toast message to this also. OK, and three we have written and similarly we got to do it for uh, four, five till nine zero dot. OK, and then for uh, uh, multiplication, uh, division, addition, subtraction for all these things we got to write uh, the method and finally for equal to also we should be writing. OK, uh, so I'll show you how to do all those things. We'll do it one by one. So it is installing now. So now launching the activity. I just wanted to show you how the toast message gets displayed. So my calculator is open now. Now the focus is here already. Now if I click on this, so one is gone there. So if I, I, I click say. So right now the focus is not on anything. OK, so. Just a second. So for these things we have not yet written the function. That's why it's closing. Uh, I'll show you that. OK, um, so the moment we finish writing everything, so you'll understand. OK, now. Uh, so let us write in the else part. Similarly for these things also. Let me copy this so you can do copy paste. So I go to the else part of two. I go to the else part of three. OK, now similarly we'll write the methods for all others. So public. Void. Or. View. V. So don't type. Everything. So just type one or two characters and choose. So I'm copy pasting this control C. Control V. So here I just make it as four and this also as four. And the rest everything is same. OK now. So for four I've done now similarly public. White. Phi. View V. Again, I'm pasting. Phi. Append phi. So we're not using. Uh, what? Uh, the set text. So instead we are using append because every time you keep pressing on the button, we want the digits to get appended to the existing okay, content. So if you set text every time you click on a new button, it gets overwritten. Public wide six view v six. So OP people are doing along with me. Wide seven view V append seven eight. Uh, 
date next black white nine view v So after this, zero. We got to write it for zero. So even uh, the method name also I've given it as zero. V append zero next. Next is dot void. So I've given the name of the method. Let me verify whether I've given the same. Yeah, I've given it as dot. Okay. Uh, zero is done and then for equal to I've written it as compute for subtract SUB for clear CLER for addition. I think I've written it as add for multiply. I've written it as multiply. For divide I've written it as divide and for. Add I don't know what I've written. Uh, for add I've written add. So go back here so dot view v so it's a dot so append dot append dot after this uh public void if I click on add so the plus symbol, OK? View V. Now what I'll do is I'll take a global variable. So all of you seeing here? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, see, uh, when I click on add, so the plus symbol here, So where is a plus here? When I click on this plus, see, I, I need to copy this operator, plus operator to some global variable. So what I'll do now in the class scope, I'll declare a character variable with the name OP. Okay, let me go up. So the OP should be in the class scope. Now here, character OP. I've taken a character variable with the name OP. So our operator, if you want to full write, you can write it. So OP is enough. Now I come here. I just say OP is equal to plus. Okay. So if I click on add, assign plus to the OP. And similarly, so public void. Method name is subtract. When I click on the minus button, I say OP is equal to. So have we made OP uh, the scope of the OP variable as class scope? Yes or no? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Next. So public. Void multiply. I have given uh, the name of the method as multiply. See what you people have given. So P is equal to I assign star. Next. Public. 
click void. I've given the name of the method as divide view v. When you write this method, if it is uh, uh, in the gray color, you know, uh, light gray color, uh, that means that this method name is not matching with the one which is there in the XML. So if you're getting something like that, please do verify. OP is equal to this. Okay. So now I've written for add, multiply, all these things. So now let us go here. For divide, multiply, add, minus everything we have written. Now for equal to, I need to write now. Equal to and clear. Okay. So first we will write for equal to, and then we'll go for writing uh, for clear. For equal to, the method uh, which I've taken here in the XML is compute. Okay. Now I'll go here. Public void. So compute is the name of the method view v I'll show you so name of the method is compute for equal to see so button id what i've given as equals and uh, the text that is displayed on the button is equal to and the method with which i'm calling on click of that is compute i'm writing the definition for that here now here we'll take a floating point variables float float say n1 comma n2 comma r for result. So three local variables I'm taking inside this floating point variables. So now we will use which switch statement which op okay switch op case plus so what i'll do is n1 is equal to so to this local variable, floating point variable N1, so I need to read the content of my first edit text. So the content of my first edit text I need to read. Now, uh, and, and that is usually in the form of string. I need to convert that into float. Float dot parse float. Now how to read the text from the first edit text? What is the object that is pointing? number one is pointing okay number one dot what is the method to get the text get text dot convert it into string okay i'm getting i'm reading the content of the first edit text parsing it into float and then assigning it to n1 so next n2 is equal to float dot parse float number two. So please, if you uh, want me to stop, please inform me. Okay, I'll, I'll stop it until you finish. To string. So now r is equal to r is equal to i'll say n1 plus n2 i want this result to appear the result which is available in r i want it to appear here in the result text view now what i do now r dot Oh, sorry. So, what is the object that is referencing to my text view result? So, it is res. So, if I go up, so we made res, res, 
to reference to my result text view. Now I can access that by using res dot text s r because see uh, set text what it will do is it will always expect this string. So but R is float right now. OK, now what I'm doing now. So inside the double code, I'm not writing anything. That means it is a string and to that I'm appending my float value. So now so it, I hope people understood with this statement. See only R if I write it will not take because what it expects is. Say it is underlined in red because it expects a string set text expects a string. But what we are passing is a float. Now how do I convert this float into integer? So one way is again uh, sorry a string. So one way is uh, take this R convert it into string and then pass instead of doing that just put two double quotes plus. So two double quote is nothing but what? So I have not written anything here, but it is a string to that I'm appending R. So now we will accept. So this is what we wrote for case plus and then you break it. Now similarly write for case minus okay. n2 again n1 is equal to float dot pass float I can copy this till here. Let me copy and paste it. And now it is N1 minus N2. Okay. So and then break. I'll copy this entire thing again. Case into On this, I'll change it to int. Okay. Next. So control V again. Say divide. Now this minus I'll change it to divide. So still we can uh, make it more uh, meaningful. Uh, so we can do it something uh, like this. I'll show you. So instead of this, so this we will write later. Now what I'll do is first n1 I'll write. OK, and then. Um, again plus. And here plus operator or you can use uh, OP. OK. Because OP is operator OK, and then. N2. And again plus. Equal to plus R. So we are displaying it in a more meaningful manner. So you get now first number plus second number is equal to this in the result text. So similarly, let us do the same thing uh, everywhere. This is minus. This is into. And this is. 
divided by. OK, so this is what the method that will be called when you click on compute. OK, now let me run this. Uh, so still, we have not written clear. Uh, we'll, we'll run this once and then we will go for writing the clear. Uh, so I'll show you uh, three ways of writing the clear. OK. So if you want, uh, we'll make uh, three uh, separate buttons for clearing. OK. So one uh, clearing character by character, one more clearing the entire text box and one more for clearing both the edit text at once. So clearing uh, the whole content of an edit text is easy, but uh, clearing uh, a character at a time or erasing a character at a time. So we got to write a piece of code and then uh, we got to do that. We, I'll show you how to do that. So now the activity is getting launched. So calculator is here. So now let me uh, go for so keying in the number 12 here one two. Now I get the focus of another text say 56. Now I click on the operator plus. So now equal to if I click see 12.0 plus 56.0 is equal to 68.0. Now if I take the operator into if I click on this and equal to it says 12.0 into 56.0 is 672.0. So people are saying this. OK, now. I'll get the focus of this. OK, first one. So I'll add one more six. OK, so now uh, what is the operator right now selected? into it as now if I click on equal to say it as 126 into 56 is equal to so this 7056.0. Okay. Now how do I clear? So uh, when I click on this C, so we'll write three C's now. So one I'll write uh, lowercase C, okay, one button with lowercase C, one more with uppercase C and one more with C E. Okay. So our CA instead of CA uh, CE you can take. So if I click on the button with the lowercase C. So say for example, the focus is there on the first edit text. Now if I click on the lowercase C button, it should erase only one digit that is six. So if I click the lowercase C again for the second time, it should erase two. OK, the other uppercase C button what we write say the focus is here. If I click on the uppercase C, it should clear this entire thing. OK, so whole thing get cleared at a time. Okay, And and the another thing which we are creating that is C-A-R-C-E, if I click, so all clear. OK, so it should clear this also, this also, and even the result also it should clear. So this we will do now. So hope all of you are getting uh, the output till here. Uh, sir, this is short part where uh, OP is declared. Uh, uh, I didn't get you. Sorry. Uh, where the variable OP is declared, sir? Like how should we declare it? OP, I, I told you it is in the class scope. I'll show you. So here I declared. Okay. Okay. Now I made it as global scope. Yeah. Yeah. Lofi finished till here. Is it done? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let us uh, go to the 
ui part So this I'll make it as lower case C. Okay. So now a clear. So ID I'm giving it as clear one digit at a time. So see, uh, so this is a very big ID which I've given and I've separated everything by underscore. You cannot uh, give spaces. So spaces are not allowed. OK, it must be one single word and then name the method. I call it as again clear one digit at a time. So multiple clears we are writing now. So this is uh, the name of the method. Now we'll add one more. Done. Wrap content. Wrap content. ID. Uh, I'll take the ID as so clear. Clear. One. Field or one field completely. And then text. I'll take it as uppercase C. This is lowercase C, this is uppercase C. Text alignment center. And now on click. We'll call. Him. I take the method with this name itself. So clear one field completely and next we'll have one more. So button wrap content wrap content. ID. So I'll take it as all clear. OK. And then. Text uh, we can take it as AC all clear. And then text alignment center. Then we can call on click the method name. I give it as all clear. So this much we have done now. OK, now you go to the design and check. See there is one C with the lowercase. Uh, I don't know whether you are able to distinguish between these two. OK. Uh, uh, R. So this will make it as uppercase C and this we will make it as CE. So clear edit text something like that. So because uh, not able to distinguish between this uppercase C and lowercase C. So what we will do is. Now uh, we'll make this as upper will make this as CE. Clear edit text, complete edit text and AC is all clear. OK, so now. Your design is something like this C, CE and AC. OK, now we'll go to the Java code. So first we'll write the code for clearing all clear. OK. All clear we will do it. So I say just I'm going outside this compute now. So this is the closing for the compute method and just coming outside this. Now here public. Void. So I gave the name of the method as all. Clear. View V. So I need to click when I click on AC. I need to clear everything. OK, so. Number one dot. Set text. 
Done. This will clear in the first edit text. Similarly, number two dot set text. Nothing. And then similarly, res also results also will clear. Dot set text. Nothing. Only this much. All clear is done. OK. Now I'm, I'm running this again for one more time. OK, and then we will write uh, the definition for CE and uh, C. OK. Hello. Yeah, it's a. Hey, now look. Yeah, branch new. The fee receipt number WhatsApp, my dear. OK, now we'll see. See, I am taking the first number. So taking the second number. Now into is equal to the result I got it. Now I click on AC. See, everything is cleared. OK. So back to the original status and the first number, second number and then and then result. OK, now next we'll write for the CE. So when 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 the cursor is here, when I click on this, so the content of this edit text should be clear. When I take the cursor here, when I have the focus of this and click on this, they should be cleared. OK, and and will whenever here when whenever it is here when I click on clear along with this will also clear this OK. Uh, the result because you cannot have the focus of the result because it is a, a, a text view, so you cannot get the focus of the text view. So. We'll we'll write code uh, what people understood. So uh, all of you done till here. Yes, sir. OK. Now we'll write method. Public. Void. So let's see what I have given and let me copy the method name from there itself. For CE, this is what I've given. Clear. One field completely. Copying this. Here I'm writing view v. Okay. If number one, so again I have to check. So which uh, edit text has the focus? Number one dot has focus. As focus now here I write number one dot set text to this blank number 
sorry res res also will clear along with this res dot text to blank else if else if number number 2 dot as focus number 2 dot set text then res dot set text this else same thing will do as we did here we'll put a small toast this one i'll show you the toast also now toast is click on number 1 or number 2 and this will change it to long dot long So we are done with this method also. I'm saving this. Now I'll run it again. So launching the activity. Okay, so now, so let me enter 56, and in the second one, 36. So now divide equal to. So this is the result. Now the focus is on this now. If I click this, see, both the things are cleared. And, and take the cursor there and click here even that is also cleared okay understood hello yes sir okay next we'll write for this clear so always one will be having the focus uh, you need not worry either this num1 or num2 any one of this will be always having the focus now we'll write the method for public void i'll copy the method from here clear one digit at a time U, v. So again, so I'll check which one has the focus. If number one dot has focus. Now let me declare a string variable here. So let me take uh, the name of the string as n. Now what I'll do, n is equal to, okay. Uh, I copy the content of the first edit text, okay, and assign it to this. Number one dot text.
text dot to string. Now copy it to this. Next, what I do now, n is equal to, I, I take this string. Say for example, so let me write and show you here. So in the first edit text, I've entered one, two, three, four, five. So what is the length of this string right now? Assume this is the number which I've entered in the first edit text. What is the length of this? Six. six. Now, if, if I want to erase the six, okay. So now, now say one, two, three, four, five, six is the content of the first edit text. I'm, I'm copying, assigning it to this local variable string n. Now n contains this one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the simple logic which I use in order to erase this six on a click of C is that, see, I, I take the use the substring function and I take from this position to this position and I leave this last element. Okay, this is what I do on every click of C. Okay, now what I do now, n dot substring. So there is a method with the name substring. Okay, now here you can give two things, beginning index and ending index. Beginning is zero because I want the zero at one comma. Ending, what I'll do is n dot, the total length I take, see, n dot length minus one. So what happens now when I click on a C, assume the focus is on the first edit text. So I declare a local variable with the name n string string variable. Now to this n I'm copying the content of the first edit text and then what I'm doing using the substring method, I'm invoking the execution of the substring method on n. Assume this is the content one, two, three, four, five, six is the content of n. Now what it will do? So it will select from here to here till five and it will exclude six. Why it will exclude six? Because I've told the starting index is zero and the ending ending index is n dot length minus one. Hope you people are following. Yes, sir. Okay. So n dot length minus one. Now what gets assigned to n is now. So new n is one, two, three, four, five, not one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This is what the simple logic. And then this this new value which is available in n we set it back to the number uh, first edit text box so number one dot set text what is the text to set now yes n. n it is n okay on every click on every click of uh, the button c we copy the content of the edit text on which the focus is there to the local variable n and we invoke the execution of the substring method and we take from the 0th index till the length of the string minus 1. So that means the last character is left. Okay, And we set uh, the same thing again back to the same edit text. Now we'll write it for else if. Same thing. Else if number two dot as focus again i take a local variable n n is equal to so number two dot get text dot to string And n is equal to n dot invoke the execution of sorry n is equal to n dot substring zero comma n dot length minus one. Okay, and in the else part again, I'll do copy paste of this. So if you copy this. Uh, 
हेलो यस सर नो सर इन द एल्स इफ पार्ट आई थिंक यू हैव टू गिव नंबर 2 डॉट सेट टेक्स्ट ओ सॉरी आई मिस इट थैंक यू सो नंबर 2 डॉट टेक्स्ट ओके ना वेल रन दिस Okay. Now I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. Now here we'll have seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two. Okay. Now, now if I click on, so the focus is on this now. If we click on C, C two got erased. So again, if I click on C. so one will get erased so the cursor is here don't think that uh, so uh, seven gets erased so it is always from this side because we are doing uh, uh, in the substring we have written 0 to length of the string minus 1 okay so you can also delete from this position also from the beginning also for that uh, uh, in the substring instead of zero you have to start from one so that means a zero uh, so leave uh, the digit which is at the zeroth index exclude the digit which is at the 0th index and start from 1 and go till the length okay uh, length of the string not minus 1 so till the length if you go 1 to length of the string so it will delete from here now again i'm pressing c so 1 is erased 0 is erased 9 is erased 8 is erased now 7 is also erased now get the focus here see 6 erased 5 erased 4 erased 3 2 1 so it is from right to left okay because we have used in the substring 0 to length of the string minus 1 now same thing now if you change it to 1 okay let, let us change 1 let me write a comment here deletes digits from right to left i will comment this line so one to length now what this will do delete digits from left to right okay i'm saving it now we'll run it again
now one two three five six four something now if i click on c now see one gets erased see one is erased next two three six five four okay from left to right now okay so anyone is okay so you can use either of these two so i guess if people understood yes yeah so now so this toast i was not able to show this toast message we have written toast message in else part for everything but i'm not able to show this because this is called only when uh, there is no focus on either of the text box but by default any one of the edit text will be always having the focus now just to demonstrate this what i'll do is so let me create one more uh, button here this is not necessary for the program because i just wanted to show you how the toast message gets displayed so you people have seen that while running the other apps but you don't know that is called as the toast message i'll just show you that so id okay id is not necessary so text let me put so toast show toast and then on click let us call show toast i go to java now here inside the class public void show yeah this is the mistake i made so you cannot give space there show toast must be one word show toast view v so i'll just copy this and put here i save this now i'm running only this much Okay. See, uh, I'll click on this show toast now. So just observe here this part. I'll get the toast message. See, please click on number one and number two, and it vanishes immediately. So that's the reason I set uh, the length to long. So if you set the here this length toast dot length, so it takes three parameters. Uh, one is the context where it should be displayed. So I want this toast message to be displayed on this this uh, within this class itself okay within this activity itself and then what to display the text to display and so how long to display so this is a toast dot length short so you, you cannot even see the message that is that get displayed so length long is good i guess one or two seconds you can see up to two seconds you can see the message so again i'm clicking so just observe this here here 
So please click on number one or number two field. So that is the and it vanishes. So hope you understood. So any doubts? Okay, all of you are able to do till here? Yes, sir. So I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm stopping the recording. Please uh, finish this experiment. So the next uh, third experiment we will do in the next lab.